Your first alert forecast, we start the day in the upper 60s on average. If you're just trying to get out the door, this is where it's pretty normal in the morning hours with patches of fog. But we've still got plenty of heat ahead for your day, so pack some extra water for you, for your kids. I know a kid's been carrying a big old, big old container of water lately because it is hot and it is humid. This morning, again, watching the patches of fog develop in your first alert future cast. I've mapped that out for you here, too. Seeing some of those patches develop now and through the early morning hours. Now, it'll be mostly sunny midday, but the first couple of storms will start trying to bubble up, mainly along the edge of the plateau to the Smokies at first, 10% midday. And we got about a 20% coverage in your afternoon. You can see them bubbling up in the Smokies. Again, along the plateau to the mountains of northeast Tennessee and trying to come downhill by the late afternoon to evening around five o'clock. We could have a couple storms coming down into the foothills into parts of the valley popping up here at the Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia corner as well, and then it'll wind back down for your evening hours. Now with more clouds moving in tonight will be warmer and we could still have some isolated rain and storms developing as we get closer to tomorrow morning and a front on the way. When it comes down to it in that rainfall for today with those isolated downpours notice populating a little bit better in that afternoon to early evening. That's where we get a couple of very heavy rainy spots there. Those blue spots half an inch to an inch. So yes, those are pretty small embedded in a few showers in the greens and an even more isolated one plus there in that southern edge of Monroe County, which I've got mapped there for you as well. So the key here is that it is a hot, humid day. If you've got some things you need to do outside, stay hydrated. As we start the day in the upper 60s, it will already be 75 at 9, 87 at 1. You're high today, 91, feeling about 5 degrees warmer. So that's where those spotty storms really develop because it's hot and humid. So for your afternoon hours with the mostly sunny views and those couple of storms bubbling up, we're going to top out closer to 91 in Knoxville as well as Etowah. 91 in Kingston. Forecast where you live 86 in Crossville to Jamestown. 88 in Oneida. Everybody feeling about 5 degrees warmer. Remember, it is a steamy day. 88, you're high today, Jellico to 89 in Middlesbrough. High today will be 90 in Morristown and 91 in Pigeon Forge. Definitely sharing that heat. Now, tomorrow morning, we'll all see some more scattered clouds. Again, some spots of rain early, but what we're watching is a front to approach from the west. So around 8 to 9 a.m., we've already got a couple storms developing. Notice around 10 a.m., got a couple storms starting to branch out. The bulk of the front still back here just a bit. So these are some outlier rain and storms that could go ahead and flare up into something a little bit stronger but more of the better coverage and impact on our area comes in closer to midday. Around 11 a.m. to noon, tracking these scattered storms as they drag east into our area. Notice by 1 to 2, moving into more of the valley. I have your WVLT first alert weather day highlighted here. This is when we could have a few stronger storms, some damaging winds, the main threat. Plus, there's some met embedded very heavy rain, so we could have some localized flash flooding. So at least it's moving pretty good there. 2 to 3 o'clock right over the valley. Kids are getting out of school, and then we move that up into the foothills to the mountains and it moves on. Now, there'll still be some spots of rain behind it, but I wanted to focus that first alert weather day for you there on that afternoon brief 60% coverage. Again, scattered. Not everybody's getting the rain and storms, but then even more isolated would be that potential for stronger to severe storms, that damaging wind threat. Behind the front, you can actually see when the temperatures adjust, mainly in the mornings. That's lower humidity, giving us more cooling room in the mornings ahead but the afternoons are still hot, just less humid, thanks to the passage of that front. So we're gonna keep that heat going, but at least things will dry out and not feel a lot hotter in the shade to finish out the week.